Hi friends, how are you? By blessings of God, you are doing well. So this is Dr. Arthur Jain, a faculty member of the Department of Business Management of Kenimuni University, Vasovyar, Balasur, Odisha. Friends, once again, I am welcome to all of you to your channel, to my channel, Dr. E.B. Jain Classes. So friends, uh, today we are going to discuss the top, I mean the vital uh, as well as the most expected, that is the 20 terms from the research methodology. So friends, uh, you have already known from the thumbnail. So without losing our valuable time, golden time, let's start today's discussion. That is the top 20 terms, I mean the words, I mean the concept from the research methodology. So far as today's discussion is concerned, today's discussion will be very, very useful. That is the BCom, MCom, BBA, MBA, PMR, that is the MBA finance, uh, economics and other related subject. Uh, for the semester exam as well as uh, today's discussion will be very very useful and helpful particularly to qualify that is the PhD net assistant professor as well as the JRA for the subject of commerce management, PMI, economics, etc. And friends, uh, without losing our valuable time, golden time, let's start today's discussion and uh, the top 20 terms from the research methodology. So friends, again I am requesting to all of you during the discussion, if you mismatch or gap you find, kindly give, give your available comment and suggestion in the comment section. So friends, I am requesting to, to, all, to all of you, don't skip the video from beginning to till you. Uh, and you watch definitely you will be more comfortable not only in the semester exam but also that is uh, in that is the assistant professor level exam as well as that is the UGC net JRF uh, uh, exam and friends uh, so uh, it's a, I have prepared this video content uh, some of my dear student friends uh, that is the demand and the request. So let's start today's discussion. So kya baad hai? Aye, hum discussion shuru karenge. Uh, so friends, we are going to that is the top 20 research methodology term. So let's uh, we have to start from the research. A research ka matlab kya hai? So so friends, here it's the part one and very soon you will get the part two. So research is a systematic process of collecting, analyzing, and interpreting the data to discover the new knowledge, understand the phenomena, and to solve the problems or verify the existing theories. Or uh, in simple language, what is this? That is the research. So research uh, is uh, the systematic investigation and study of uh, materials and sources to uh, establish the facts and reach into new conclusion. In mathematical equation, a research re plus search means uh, that is the search again, the researcher or a researcher will search again for his or her research study. So hence the research is an organized inquiry. Next one friends, uh, yeah, hey, research methodology. So research methodology is a systematic process or approach to collect the research in outlining uh, the specific methods or procedures which are used to collect, analyze and interpret the collected data. So the methods of collecting the data for a research work is called yeah, hey, it's the research methodology. So in Simple language, a kya hai research methodology is the study of methods in order to solve the research problems of a, a researcher. So hence, uh, research methodology refers to a systematic framework which is used to conduct the research. Next one friends, I am dekhenge kya hai population. So population refers to the entire group of individuals, objects or items from which a researcher draws the conclusion or makes the inferences. So it's the meaning of a population. So uh, if a study measures the average height of adult male hockey players in India, the population shall be all adult male hockey players in India. So it's the example of a population in next slide. Friends will discuss in detail the what is the basic difference in population and sample so sample is a smaller or manageable subset of a larger group larger group is known as care it's the population that is selected to represent the whole so hence the sample is a subset of individuals from a larger population so here the difference between that is the population 
and sample so population the entire group of individuals to be studied is called kya hai its a population and individual is a person or object is a member of population i mean the objects are the population so they are uh, known as or the examples of a sample so sample is a subset of the population that or which is being studied so friends now i am hopeful that you now are clear what is the difference basic difference between the population and the sample so what is the meaning of sampling so sampling is a st statistical tool in which a fixed number of observations are taken from a larger population so sampling means selecting the group that one will actually collect the data from his or her research work so friends so here sam sampling in simple language guy it's a process or method of collecting the sample from the population it's known as a, that is the sampling so here example if one is carrying out a research the opinions of students of his university he could survey a sample of 100 students so here 100 student will be uh, regarded as that is sample and total students of the university they will be or they are regarded as or called as what the population so friends now are clear so again uh for your kind information so i have also posted one video or it's a the small video content what mean by sampling and what are the different types of uh, sampling i have friends so next one kya hai it's the probability sampling so probability sampling is a sampling method that randomly selects a small group it's a, that is the sample from the larger population so selection chance is known in probability sampling so examples of probability sampling are the some simple ran, uh, random sampling systematic sampling cluster sampling stratified sampling so friends kindly go through the posted video so there i have already discussed by citing the suitable example the meaning of uh, uh, the this sampling next one friends uh, it's opposite of probability sampling it's the non probability sampling here what is this non probability sampling is a method of selecting units from a population by using a subjective subjective method the selection of probability is unknown in the case of a, or in non probability sampling so here the examples of non probability sampling are the convenient sampling snowball sampling judgmental sampling quota sampling so friends i have already told you and again i am also telling you uh, kindly go to the posted video so what we mean by this or the non probability sampling so there i have already discussed by citing the suitable example so next friends the data so so far as that is the data is most for a research work so um uh, friends so what is this it's the primary data for your kind information i have also posted one video uh, it's a, what is the basic difference between primary data and the secondary data so kya hai it's a primary data refers to the first hand data gathered or collected by researcher himself or herself so here friends so first time Uh, what the data you will collect it's known as that is the primary data so these are the methods i mean the observations experiments interview are the main methods for the, the primary data the examples of primary data are the survey uh, interviews experiments observations are conducted by uh, the researcher in order to or to get kya hai it's the primary data so normally the primary data will be collected in the case of our empirical study or research so it's opposite secondary data what is this friends so secondary data so uh, means the data collected by someone else earlier or before i mean the secondary data are already available so the publication online searching are the main methods of for the secondary data the here the researcher can collect the data for his or her uh research study the examples of secondary data or secondary data are available uh, from or collected from the books journals magazines newspapers internet etc next one friends what is this that is the qualitative data uh, qualitative data is a non numerical descriptive information which captures the quality characteristics and the perception of a something that is so the qualitative data answer the questions such as why how 
and also includes the data through the interviews, so written documents, observation, etc. So next, it's opposite. क्या है? It's the quantitative data. The quantitative data is the information or fact which is expressed in a numerical value. So quantitative data can be counted. It's measurable as well as it's analyzed in or statistical. So in a friends, the next slide we will discuss what are the that is the examples of uh, quantitative data and qualitative data. So here the quantitative data answer how many, how much, and how often questions to the researcher. So the quantitative data provides the measurable facts or information like percentages, counts, or physical measurements like or that is such as temperature, heights, etc. So here that is the category of uh, Mm. qualitative data and here it's the category of numerical data i mean the qualitative data so these are gender religion marital status that is the native language social class qualification etc so these are coming under the qualitative data whereas that is the quantitative data so these are age that is 5 years 10 years 15 years that is the height weight whether it's 50 70 80 kg or income it may be 5 Clear. It's 5,000 or 50,000 or 1 lakh, 2 lakh, whatever. That is the inverse size, that is the group size, self-efficacy test score. So these are the examples of uh, or coming out of the quantitative data. Next one, friends. What is this? The hypothesis. So friends, uh, friends for your kind information, I have already posted one video. What do you mean by the hypothesis and what are the different types of uh, hypothesis? It's the common question. So you may get in the exam so hypothesis is a tentative answer to a research question or problem so here uh, in a simple language asan language may kya hypothesis so hypothesis is a statement about the about a population parameter which is assumed to be true for the purpose of a hypothesis testing so hypothesis is a tentative proposition which is formulated for empirical testing hence the hypothesis is a clear statement of what is intended to be investigated by a researcher uh, it's opposite that is uh, sorry uh, it's a null hypothesis so null hypothesis means there is no significant relationship or difference between the variables or parameters being tested so null hypothesis is denoted as that is the h0 or h0 so researcher is to have to disapprove or reject the null hypothesis so here the examples of that is the null hypothesis that is there is no difference in the salary of a factory workers based on gender another example kya hai? there is no relationship between height and shoe size so it's opposite null hypothesis it's the alternative hypothesis here so friends kya hai? alternative hypothesis means that there is the significant relationship or difference between variables or parameters in the case of null hypothesis there is no difference but in the case of a alternative <coughs> there is the significant relationship or the difference uh, so here uh, so here uh, the examples of uh, alternative hypothesis so alternative hypothesis is denoted as that is the h1 uh, or H A. So it's the example. First one, it's the there is the difference in the salary of a factory worker based on gender. Second one example of alternative hypothesis is there is the relationship between height and shoe size. So here there is the difference, but in the case of there is no difference. So here there is no relationship, but here the relationship. So friends, uh, now uh, I am hopeful that you are clear with respect to a kya hai, null hypothesis or alternative hypothesis next one friends so that is the error is there the type one error so it's also known as kya hai, it's the false statement so type one error means rejecting the null hypothesis when it is actually true so here what is this in the case of a type one error it says that is the statement is true but the researcher <coughs> reject it so type 1 error happens when the null hypothesis is incorrectly rejected so here the example so type 1 error is denoted as alpha 
examples of a type 1 error if he a medical study tests of a new drug against polio if the test concludes that the drug is effective but here when the researcher will reject it the null hypothesis there is no difference but the conclusion is wrong the drug has no real effect so it's the example of a what that is the type 1 error so it's considered as or regarded as or known as a type 1 error it's opposite what friends what is this that is the type 2 error it's opposite it's the false negative or it's also known as or kya bolenge it's the beta error a type 2 error happens when statistical statistical test fails to reject a null hypothesis it is actually false so here what is this it's actually false about the researcher only that is uh, accept so it's a uh, the dosra meaning of type 2 error just your friends you uh, read out so here example if a medical study tests a new drug it is concluded that the drug new drug is not effective but the researcher will consider as that the new drug is effective so fails to reject the null hypothesis the drug is considered effective but not in a real so it's a the type 2 error so hence the type 2 error is defined as the failure to reject the null hypothesis when it is false so friends now we are clear what is the meaning of uh, type, uh, type 1 error and type 2 error in a that is the research uh, next one friends the level of significance uh, kya hai, friends the level of significance is the probability that the result reported happened by chance so it's a uh, the meaning of level of significance what i have collected from the internet so friends the level of significance is the probability of a type 1 error what is this friends reject the null hypothesis when it is true and is usually denoted by alpha so here what happens friends so I have friends a example like a will explain a level of significance it is 0 0.05 means that there is the 5 percent chance that the result is insignificant and the rest 95 percent result is significant or it just happened by chance alone it is the meaning of a level of a significant next one friends what is the meaning of a degree of a freedom degree of a freedom in a that is the short form that is the df refers the number of values in a data set that are free to vary when estimating the statistical parameters so friends it's a the dusra meaning of degree of a freedom what i have collected from the internet friends just you read out so here degree of freedom refers to the number of independent parameters that can vary in a system or calculation without violating any constraint it's the meaning of uh, that is the degree of uh, freedom so last but not the least uh, for that is the questionnaire is must uh, for the that is the empirical study or empirical uh, research so here questionnaire what is this it's a set of uh, questions so questionnaire is a structured set of questions or a research instrument which is used to collect the data or information about the people's attitudes experiences opinions and behaviors of people or respondents for a research study in that is in asian language mein kya hai? it's the questionnaire is a uh, research instrument which consists of a set of questions of friends i have already told you to collect the data or information from the respondents or the from the people uh, through the through a survey or a statistical study so questionnaire may be closed ended or open ended questionnaire for a research study in another video friends will discuss in detail what are the different types of questionnaire so friends so these are all about today's discussion i am hopeful that so you have enjoyed a lot so again friends i am requesting to all of you during the discussion if you misspeak or gap you find kindly give your available comment and suggestion in the comment section and friends uh, if you have not subscribed my channel kindly you subscribe it kindly you share it kindly you forward it so before concluding our discussion i am wishing all the very very best uh, for the upcoming that is the semester exam and other related exams so thanks a lot to all of you